We've got movement on both sides of the field. Looks like an autonomous gear up and into the airship on the blue line side by Valkyrie Robotics. Team 100 shaking their head. Looks like their robot was not quite able to get tracking. And they did a little dance there at the end. They were not able to get that auto gear delivered in autonomous. Blue Alliance is at 75 points. Red Alliance at 115. But 100, while that's now getting that gear delivered, and as well as their alliance partners, Alameda Aztecs, both getting a gear up to that Red Alliance airship. They prepare to place their gears. They're getting a huge reserve. But they're going to get those in place and get them up and running. Blue Alliance has started their second rotor as well, bringing them up to 115. Red Alliance, they've started their first rotor. And now here comes rotor number two for the Red Alliance, bringing them to a score of 95. It's only that 20-point autonomous difference now. That's how much important the autonomous score can be. It's very hard but very rewarding. Those 20 points may make the difference in any match. And now we're just under a minute and a half remaining. The Supreme Eagles have a little bit of a tail there as their light is dangling, but they're playing a little bit of defense. Looks like they might be able to block those red robots from getting past to the retrieval zones. 41, 86, Alameda Aztecs blocked out. It may take a long way around if they want to get out of that retrieval zone. Well, Valkyrie Robotics and the Supreme Eagles just parked in the way, blocking those red robots from getting past. They have to get past the airship in order to get those gears and deliver them back to their airship. But these two robots have just effectively closed down that lane of travel. Very effective, but also preventing themselves from getting by and getting any more gears delivered. The Raging Sea Biscuits go the far way around the airship, headed back towards the blue retrieval zone. They're looking to get one more in their machine as the Blue Alliance maintains their lead. They're just trying to black out those gear deliveries from the Red Alliance. And now we're in the final seconds. That strategy may have worked as Team 100 Wild Hats now makes their way back over to the Red Alliance airship. All the ropes have been deployed, and now we're in the last 18 seconds. Red Alliance, robots climbing aboard. Looks like the Alameda Aztecs and the Wild Hats are both on for red. Over on the blue, the Raging Sea Biscuits are up and on their airship, up to 170 for the Blue Alliance. On the Red Alliance, the Alameda Aztecs can't quite trigger their touchpad. On the red, Team 100's up and triggering, and also the Gearheads on the Red Alliance, pulling them up to a score of 245 as the Alameda Aztecs also triggered the panel at the very last moment. We do have your official score. Crossing the finish line first is the Red Alliance. Their score is 245. Blue Alliance, 170.